everyone, and welcome to my presentation about ZSQL. My name is Jaroslav Regec, and I work as a Scala developer at Scala C. I'm a big fan of functional programming and ZO, and I'm also open source contributor. I'm contributing mostly to ZSQL, so I'll tell you more about it today. So we'll start by specifying who this library is for, then we'll do a tour of ZSQL DSL, then we'll implement uh, ZSQL Hello World together, and in the end, we'll talk about some plans for the future. So let's start by trying to find a target market for this new library, and we'll do that by comparing ex existing SQL access solutions in Scala in terms of two criteria, whether they offer type-safe DSL and whether their DSL resembles writing SQL. So in order to, for us to easier visualize this criteria, I created this little graph where on x-axis we have type safety and on y-axis we have SQL looking DSL. So let's start with Slick. After we define it, our meta model in Slick, we have this type safe DSL, meaning when you compare H with a string, it will fail to compile. But on the other hand, this, this DSL with these filters and maps resembles more working with Scala collection than working with SQL. So in terms of our criteria, I put Slick higher on the type safety axis, axis but lower on the, on the Y axis. Doobie takes the opposite approach, at least when it comes to writing queries. Uh, Doobie doesn't abstract over SQL at all. It lets you write SQL as raw string. So I know that Doobie offers some runtime um, query validation, and also many people enjoy this because, especially if you are familiar with SQL, you can copy-paste complex strings and stuff like that. But in the end, raw strings are simply not type-safe, so I had to put Doobie lower on the type safety axis. Now Quill, Quill is very type safe. It actually generates query at compile time. So in VS Code, when you hover over this query description, you can actually see the query that you eventually end up executing on database. And that's amazing. But again, when it comes to this quote DSL, in my opinion, it takes some getting used to and also it doesn't resemble that much. So at least in terms of these two criteria, I had to put Quill somewhere near, near to Slick. So let's think about for a second where we would like to end up. And somewhere here in the top right corner. And let's take a quick look at ZSQL. And we can see that it actually looks like SQL and it's very type safe. And I'm going to talk about it in a second. So in the end, if you care about having type safe SQL in Scala, then ZSQL might be a great library for you and your team. So let's do a tour of ZSQL. And what do I actually mean when I say that queries are type safe? Well, here on the left hand side, we have query that will eventually fail when we run it on database because we are using aggregate column and some, uh, aggreg I'm sorry, aggregate function and some other column. Now, on the right hand side, we have ZSQL query description that will fail to compile. Now, if we add group by clause, query is correct, and ZSQL query description compiles fine. Now, this is an example of inserts where we're trying to insert three values into two columns. So this query is not correct, and also our ZSQL query description fails to compile. Now, here we're trying to insert three values into three columns, but we um, mess the order. Uh, also, we're trying to insert Charles into H, so we mixed up types, our types. So this is invalid query, and also the SQL query description will fail to compile. Now, if we do everything correctly, then the SQL query compiles fine. If we would like to insert multiple rows at once, we can do that just by specifying any sequence of tuple free and insert them into values. And we also support inserting user-defined data types like person. And for that to work, you need to derive uh, implicit ZO schema for, that, for the data type. This is an example of joins. So uh, if you're familiar with SQL, this should feel very natural to write. Maybe you can even use your favorite ID autocompletion feature to guide you while writing it. And so this is another example of updates. So again, story is same. It looks like SQL, it's type safe. And I also added uh, just a very simple example of delete. 
and I added uh, also much more complex example of subqueries. And the point is that we are able to write also much more complex queries than just simple uh, updates or deletes. So in this specific case, we have correlated subquery that's executed for each row of the outer query, and it uses uh, values from the outer query. And I extracted it to its own value, but you can also inline it if you want it. Then it would look much more like the query on the, on the left-hand side. So let's implement uh, Hello World with ZeoSQL. And we'll just implement the simple re customer repository with two methods, final customers and find customer by ID. So before we do that, we need to describe our meta model. So we, we just have to extend Postgres module. And then ZeoSQL has this DSL that lets us uh, describe our table. And once we have our table, we call dot columns. And this gives us back flat tuple of columns, which we then use in our uh, queries. So this is the implementation of this customer repository. Uh, and we mix in this Postgres table description, so we can, we can use our uh, co columns and tables. And uh, when we call execute on a query, uh, this gives us back the zeal, which requires so-called SQL driver. So we need to construct layer of a SQL driver. And uh, for that, we need the connection pool. And connection pool needs a configuration, like uh, what's your uh, database name and connection URL. But uh, Zlayer in Zio 2.0 or Zio Magic makes all of this one-liner. So let's see how find all would be implemented. So here we have a simple query where we select uh, four columns from a table. And before we execute this query, we can uh, map uh, this tuple for to our user-defined data type. And then execute would return to us stream of a customer, and we just provide layer. In find by ID, it's similar, but I decided to execute query as it is. So this would give us Z stream of tuple 4. And then we're already in the world of Z stream, so we can map tuple 4 to our uh, customer type. Then run head gives us back the Z of option of customer. So what are our plans for the future? We would like to push uh, Zio schema all the way through. So uh, in the end, you wouldn't uh, define your table with, uh, with the DSL, but you would just write the case class. And Zio schema would take care of uh, generating the columns for you. Then we would like to support more databases. Currently, PostgreSQL is most feature complete, but uh, architecturally, Zio SQL allows us to support as uh, many databases as we want. We would like to do a better job with error messages uh, because uh, currently compiler tells you that something's wrong, but it's not necessarily obvious what is wrong, but I'm sure we can do it seeing later improvements in uh, Zio 2.0. And we're still working on supporting Scala free. So to sum up, if you want to have type safe SQL in Scala with Zio integration, then and also we provide uh, transaction, uh, connection, pool, and uh, lots, of, lots of other things we didn't have time to talk about. So I have an announcement to make. Uh, we released the uh, first version, uh, 0.01. So <coughs> you can try it out today and also read an example application that's on my GitHub. So uh, you can, if, you don't, if you don't know how to start, then you can clone it and build on top of it. And if you have any questions, then you can reach out. And also, there's the documentation. Thank you.